Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of the beautiful Rebellion Tarot. So I found this tarot on Etsy, and I will link the shop down below if you're interested, but this is like not trying to get anybody to buy anything. Um, just I think that the artwork is gorgeous, and for me, this deck, when I first saw it on Etsy, I was like, oh my god, that is almost... Like exactly like the Tarot of Delphi and the Tarot of Delphi if you're a tarot enthusiast and collector some people are collectors me I collect decks but I use them so I'm not really like a collector of just having stuff <laughs> um, but the Tarot of Delphi is out of print so to me this was the next best thing because I am not willing to spend tons of money on my decks plus I don't have tons of money so the beautiful rebellion comes in this gorgeous box i mean first i just want to show you like the gold stamping that's on here um and then you get this beautiful like rose wax seal stamp um and it's gorgeous and i think um this is how all of them come uh i think at least for the first certain number of orders um, so definitely check the site and see if it still comes in this box but i know i know that the um creator Oh, there you go. Is is selling just 300 of them, I think, that look like this. So I have number 18 out of 300. You can see that the artist has signed it. Or I mean, sorry, the creator. Because the artists are all different. Okay, so I want to look at this really quick. And this is kind of like the little, here we go, a keyword cheat sheet. Um, so Robin L. Cole is the creator of this deck. But the artists are famous artists that you, as we look at the images, you're like, oh, I know that. I've seen that picture before. I know that picture. Um, so we open it up here and it's just your standard um, keywords, just kind of looking through here. But there we go. You get to the back and these are the actual artists of the images that you'll see. And I am a fan of so many of these artists, which is why I feel like I just need to show this art because it's gorgeous. So it's not necessarily telling people they need to buy this deck or you need to buy a bunch of decks or you need to do anything. Um, but I just want to put this art out here for you guys. So yeah, and some of these names you may recognize. I know a good number of them because I appreciate their art. And I used to have one of their, um, like it was a, a poster size of uh, the artwork of, let's see. I can find his name in here. Um, here we go. Uh, Sir Francis Bernard Dixie. Um, I had one of his his paintings that was put onto a poster and I had it in my dorm room for a little while. Okay, so let me put this in here. As you can see, my, my deck isn't in here and that's because, let me put this off to the side. My deck is in this burlap bag uh, this red, beautiful red burlap bag, a very sturdy bag that came with it. Um, so I keep my cards in here instead of destroying this beautiful box that it came in. Um, so here they are. And let me put this off to the side. Okay. So first of all, I just want to have you guys take a look at the box. And you can see that it's actually like embroidery. How awesome. Feels just so lush. Okay. Um, so getting into the card stock. Um, I know it's it's not a linen finish. I don't think. Uh, it's just the higher, whatever the, the highest uh, card stock is without making it too stiff. So it's still got some flexibility to it. And you see it has a sheen, but it's not glossy, really. It's not meant to be glossy. It's like between a sheen and a matte. Um, and it is obviously very flexible, so those of you who like to riffle shuffle your cards, so there you go. Me, I'm more of a side shuffler. Um, yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, it does. As I, as I look, it does have that kind of linen, linen e finish to it. Okay, so let's take a look at these cards. Because I know people are just like, let me just see the cards, let me just see the artwork. So I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so first is that Three of Swords. And I love the images that were chosen for each of these. 
And I, I think I've seen a couple other reviews on this and people were griping about the lettering being too big. Um, they didn't like the yellow. For me, it's fine. The only thing I'm like about was that um, some of the wording is up top. And some of the wording is at the bottom but I know why because if you if you put the king of wands down here um, I think there's like too too much going on here whereas up here it's mostly just darkness so the wording really stands out so I, I understand that but some people are more sticklers for uniformity to me I'm like well you know but it doesn't kill me like I can deal with it and um, you notice that um, Mostly these images are all female. So all the kings will be female. The queens will be female um, So on and so on Yes There are some males in here, so not all female, but mostly So here we have the knight. Knight is female And it's just that the art is so good, like these artists are so freaking rad <laughs> that, um, I don't know, it just gives a whole new dimension to these meanings, the Rider Waite Smith, so to speak. I know that um, Rider Waite Smith is not the only tarot structure out there. Um, it is one of the most well known among uh, people who read the tarot, but, um, and I know that there's uh, so many other systems, but for me, that's the one I'm most familiar with. Um, so for me, the, the images add just a interesting point of view, deeper element of that system. See up here, five of pentacles. Mm, I may have put it down here, but I don't know. That's whatever. That's just nitpicking. The artwork is gorgeous. The images that were chosen were perfect. So, oh. and I know the full size painting of this. So I love the chariot. And you don't have to be like an artsy snob to appreciate this deck. For me, I mean, I was never an art major. Um, <laughs> I was an English education major with an emphasis in creative writing. So, um, but my my roommate was an art major, so I was was able to view many different types of art through her. Um, but that by no means like makes me an expert or at all. Actually, <laughs> um, I just appreciate beautiful artwork in my own point of view what is considered beautiful because we all have different tastes all that just is covered ah. and the readings have been awesome like um i get really deep readings very soulful readings um definitely not whimsical um I don't really get anything funny from them so they're very like serious but not so serious that you know it can't make way for um, a little bit of, of light-heartedness in a reading but it's definitely not, not like any anything humorous at least to me when I do my readings I love that fool I'm like looking at this and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to use this after this video is done. Because <laughs> um, I've been using it for client readings like straight away and people have been enjoying it. I use it for myself. I've been using it for pulling a card of the day. Like I'm, I'm using it in all forms and it's, it's great. I get this world card a lot too. And it's, oh, I love what looks like Jesus as the hermit. That's excellent. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so what I want to do is put all these cards together first. And I just want to show you guys how they shuffle. Some people just want to see that too before they purchase a deck. And me, I love like before I like if I'm thinking of getting something, like usually I watch deck reviews because it's because I'm thinking about getting a deck. So I want to see all the images. I want to see like how it shuffles, like how big they are. Um, these are standard tarot size, by the way. Um, before I put my hard-earned cash down on it, you know? Or maybe that's just me. 
Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. Let's say that I was doing a reading for somebody. So let's see, what do we need to know? This will just be very general. What do we need to know? Okay, let me get these two. I'm gonna get this bottom one. Okay, and we have the Four of Swords, the Ace of Swords, ooh, two Swords cards, and the Three of Pentacles. Um, so kind of what I'm just getting for this, you know, I'm just kind of shooting for the hip um, as I do a general reading for us, is to just take a break <laughs> to ponder on what your next step is in your project. So whatever project you got in the works, just take a little breather first before you dive in, you know, straight away. Uh, then when you have a pretty good idea of what you want to do, go ahead and start taking the steps that you need uh, to work towards your, your new endeavor. Maybe it's one that you've kind of already started, but you may want to just take a little little break, a little stand back, kind of just uh, look at it from the, the bigger picture, from an outside perspective before continuing on in your project or beginning your project. And then right away, start just taking taking that very first step, taking action towards your um, your goal, what it is that you want to create or do. So yeah, um, that's basically how I would read with them. And so if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And again, I'm going to link the Etsy shop uh, down below in case you are interested in purchasing the beautiful rebellion, but like no pressure, no worries, no nothing. Um, and if you want to catch a reading with me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I have several different reading styles. You choose the one that best fits your personality. I would love to read for you. And don't forget to join that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittensweightsandtarot where I am needing help to create my very first Oracle deck. Um, need the support on that. Also, uh, my Patreons are helping me with... Um, future ideas for more meetups and things like that, maybe tarot courses. Um, but yeah, it's just like all of us working together to help Kittens, Weights, and Tarot be the most and the best that you guys want it to be. So, and you get freebies in the process. I mean, like, what? <laughs> so anyway, I will catch you spiritual homies later. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.